it's just the burn. This is a day Jeanette Diaz has marked on her calendar. So this is my first time using the Lattacade. Not because of the pain she's feeling now, but because of the pain she's felt in the past. I sit like this a lot to try to hide my hand because I don't want somebody to be like, oh, what does that mean? Diaz has tattoos on her hands and neck, but they aren't by her choice. I was branded by a pimp. So I was their property. Diaz was forced into selling sex at a very young age. Her own mother began pipping her out when she was 12. For the next 20 years, she was controlled by many. But now it's time to fade away those reminders of her former life. Even though you've been out the lifestyle, even though you've gained your freedom back, you still look at that and it's a constant reminder of that person that trafficked you. Nine years ago, Dignity Health Methodist Hospital began its human trafficking safe haven program. If you have people that are dealing with like days, weeks, months, years, decades of trauma and abuse exploitation, they're going to need our ongoing help. That help comes in all forms, everything from annual physical evaluations to substance use treatment. It also includes removing ink deeply embedded in skin. If you're looking at something in the mirror every day that reminds you of your trafficker of these horrendous, you know, portions of your life, obviously if that wasn't there, um, it would be a huge piece of your recovery. The free program is aimed at truly setting sex trafficking victims free. I've been blown away um, by what an effect this has and us being able to, to um, be a part of this with these patients. Yeah, no, it's coming right off. For survivors like I Diaz. I don't feel it. This yeah. is a symbol of a fresh start. I'm excited. Making the symbols that kept her in captivity for so many years disappear. It's very important to me to not have these tattoos anymore because I'm tired of being that old Jeanette and this is one of the biggest pieces that has kept me in that mind frame of being the old Jeanette and I'm not Jeanette the survivor no more I'm just Jeanette now. <laughs> Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. Jeanette is one of the survivors we talked to for our documentary Escaping the Blade, and that premiered earlier tonight on KCRA 3 at 7 o'clock. Scan this QR code on your screen right here to watch that documentary. Our team spent a year investigating sex trafficking in Sacramento, and many of the victims are young women and girls who often find it very difficult to escape their traffickers. We spoke to law enforcement, lawmakers, and survivors about what needs to be done in the future to stop this problem. Watch our documentary Escaping the Blade right now on the KCRA 3 app. It was really compelling to see the bravery of so many of these trafficking survivors coming forward and telling their story. So Absolutely. Impactful. So brave of them to talk to us as yeah. well. Yeah.